Hello you guys! Happy Valentine's Day! We are in Las Vegas. It's almost my last day here. And I really quickly actually wanted to jump on to do a video that is very different from anything I've ever done before. Because I don't really want to voice my opinion on a topic, which is what I usually do. <laughs> like I come on here and I'm like, Wah! I have strong opinions on all these topics. Uh, I more so am interested in what your guys' opinion is on this, uh, mostly because I admit I don't really know that much about it yet, but I'm kind of curious about those of you who do and where you think this issue is leading, if it's a good thing or if it's a bad thing. And basically, I want to talk with you guys about deep fakes. Um, for those of you guys who are like me and don't really know much about technology and don't really have any social media, uh, like I don't have, for those of you guys who ask, I don't, I think, I guess I've never mentioned it on my channel, I don't have uh, Instagram, I don't have Twitter, I don't have anything. The only, the only um, social media I have is this YouTube channel. I have, I have Tinder. And I have I do have Facebook, which young people don't even use anymore. But I have like my family and <clears throat> friends on there, so I'll probably never get rid of that Facebook, even though I, I just really don't use it that much. Uh, anyway, not the point. The point is I is that I'm not really a technology person. I'm not really somebody who um keeps up with social media trends and all the issues that come with it because I overall just think social media is very very bad for society and for people especially TikTok I think has just completely just really ruined society in a lot of ways especially young people but yeah so uh, for those of you guys who are like me uh, fake pictures right I mean like I think everybody's aware of what that is pictures you know, five, ten since the internet's been around, somebody taking like someone's head and putting it on somebody else's body, you know, and then it's like, oh, that's a fake picture, or photoshopping themselves into the background of like a beach scene or something, and it's like, okay, that's um, that's a fake picture or something. And those have been around for a long time. Uh, a lot of them for a really long time were very obvious, so it was always more of a joke. People didn't really. I guess think too much about it um, with technology getting better and better though obviously these fakes are getting better and better and better and the kind of things you can do with Photoshop now right I think a lot of us are even struggling to know what is reality anymore especially if you are somebody who doesn't go out and just lives their life over the internet and you'll probably see all these perfectly airbrushed celebrities and everything and you start thinking wow this is the way people actually look in real life even like my phone has like an automatic filter. Um, I've mentioned to you guys several times my, I mean, I don't have bad skin, I don't think, but my skin is definitely not like without pores or whatever. You know, that's just, these are all these filters that are just built into everything nowadays. And the thing with deep fakes now is, uh, my understanding of deep fakes is that they are fakes that literally have become almost impossible to recognize as fakes and they've actually become so sophisticated through AI that there's even like videos now. So the reason I'm thinking about this is because this YouTuber or Twitter or TikTok celebrity, I don't really know, I forgot what her name is, uh, she found out that there was some deep fakes, deep fake porn made with her image and it's incredibly believable, and she's like, this has really hurt my reputation, et cetera, et cetera. And, you know, there's been like deep fakes brought out from things that Biden supposedly said, things that Trump supposedly said. Uh, I can say that like, not really knowing that much on this topic, my initial reaction would be that this is very problematic, I, I think. I've never been somebody who's a fan of the fact that we are moving more and more into technology anyway. Um, I really believe in the saying, if it's not broke, why fix it? 
And there was a lot of things in our society that we did that were completely fine. They didn't have to become on, on, on automated, automated. Is that how you say that in English? And I don't know. I think it's part of human nature that we can any if you think of any social in, in any invention in God, I cannot speak today any invention throughout human history no matter what the intentions of it were how good the intentions of the invention was somebody at some point will take it and, and butcher it and use it for something bad you know all of these apps at some point in time they had good intentions behind them but now they've just somebody takes them and creates deep fakes and you know we end up for some reason society always turns everything into sexual or to glorify violence or to glorify drug use uh, so yeah but the thing is like overall I don't really know that much about deep fakes how they're generated and I kind of wanted to know more from you guys like how do you feel about AI uh, how do you feel about these deep fakes? Do you think they're going to be an issue in the future? More of an issue? Is this something you guys know anything about? Like, lecture me, teach me, because I'm kind of curious about this topic and I don't really know that much about it. Um, how do you guys feel about AI in general? I, like I already said, I'm generally not a fan of AI and the concept of it. I just don't see humanity using it in a good way. And I think we're already heading very quickly towards a dystopian future. And some might argue that we're already in a dystopian future where we live in a world where people don't even know if they're a man or a woman anymore, you know, or they get triggered over the wrong pronouns. I mean, like, hello. Uh, I don't know. I'm personally very scared of a future where people are considering things like putting computer chips in their brains or, you know, just having all these apps on their phones to where they're constantly traceable and findable. You know, I know that the government always says, this is great for anti-terrorism actions. This is great for if somebody goes missing. But I'm like, the vast majority of humans, probably 95% or more on the planet, will never go missing, will never commit some kind of crazy crime where the police have to find them are going to commit terrorist acts so for this very very small percentage of humans where being able to track them at all time being able to you know take advantage of ai and all these things we are really losing a lot of what it means in my opinion to have actual freedom as a human um i just, i just know that a lot of me a lot of times i'm kind of like i wish i would have been born in like the 60s or 70s and now just kind of be over that hump in in my life where i'm just like okay you know i got like 20 more years ahead of me i just want to be in my house and whatever happens happens because i at, at as accelerated as we are living in a society nowadays especially with technology just updating quicker and quicker and quicker and people being more and more stupid on how to responsibly use any of these things i i i, I can also say i don't want to be around i don't want to be around in that time when really we do start seeing people live completely virtually you know we already have those like weird camera things that people are buying where you're like inside the game i'm just like oh like you know. this is okay ai thing aside i don't really know that much about it i want to know what you guys think how do you guys feel about it and uh i do have to say as somebody who is very much part of the real world or really interested in the real world you know with my travels and going out i i already am somebody who's very suspicious i don't know if that's the right word of even even just like regular games you know all these like fighting games and people spending 
hours and hours, like people spending hours and hours watching TV. That was like the first thing, right? That was like the first invention where probably, probably people born in the 70s or something where everybody started having a TV in their house and all of a sudden it was like, there was people who just watched hours and hours of TV. You know, then video games came out, came out and people are spending hours and hours of watching. Now people are spending hours and hours of just like scrolling through TikTok. My niece and nephew would be like the perfect example of that. Like they can just spend hours scrolling through this TikTok stuff. Now we got people like putting on these goggles and living like life in this virtual world. You know, and then if we really get to the point where the next step is people putting their chip, putting a chip, I already know there's going to be a lot of people out there who are, are going to volunteer for it. They're full on just going to be like, yeah, put a chip in my head. Why not? You know, I can be online more, blah, blah, blah. I find, I find that whole thing creepy. I, per, I, I'm not trying to be like judgmental of other people because Not because I think uh, it makes you a bad person or anything. If you spend a lot of time online or playing video games, it's not that I think it's bad. I, I think it's more, I've told you guys on my, cha my channel many times, I say a lot of things I think a lot of people find very controversial or maybe sounding mean-spirited. But I say these things legitimately because I want the best for society. And I... It just personally saddens me how many people have become so reclusive and hermits and they just live out their life through TV or video games or TikTok and now maybe putting on these weird goggles and it's like it's it's a form of escapism which I don't think and I think everybody every once in a while needs escapism but when it takes over your life and when you start when your life is basically like, I can't wait to get home from work so I can watch TV till I go to bed. That makes me sad. It's not that I'm like saying like you're a bad person for it, but it's like there's so much life out there, especially now. We have so many opportunities, so many different types of restaurants, so many museums, so many places you can travel to. Travel is easier than ever. I mean, maybe a little bit harder now since COVID again. But there's so many opportunities to be in the real world. Uh, I don't know. I find I find the, the move to being more and more just... I think it's very evil. I think the companies that are pushing this and are pushing all of more of the social media, it's very evil. I think it's scary and I think it, it turns people even more narcissistic because you basically go into this fake world where everything is about you. You know, you're more and more... Be becoming somebody who doesn't understand how to interact with other people to deal with other people's opinions and thoughts you know you just escape into like a tv show or into a video game and you know in i'm just saying i just in the long run i don't think this is healthy for people i don't think that it is healthy for us as a society i don't think especially grown men and women adults should be should so much want to escape into a fake reality that just doesn't seem like it's mentally healthy. Um, yeah. I mean, if I didn't travel so much, I would... Oh, no, I do have one more. I have WhatsApp. That's the other the social app I have. But, like, I, I can honestly say if I wasn't traveling, I would very gladly be at the point now where I'd be like, you know, maybe actually have a relationship, get rid of Tinder, finally get rid of Facebook. You know, I do know that eventually I'm going to stop my YouTube channel for good this time because I just, I don't know. It, I think it's another one of those social experiments that had the idea of being something really good but for, I would say for the vast majority, it has turned into something bad and has been used for something bad. And people take advantage of it for bad reasons or for negative reasons or maybe just because they don't know better. 
I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, so let me know what you guys think about AI. What do you guys see as the potential future in this, this area? Do you think that there's more good that's going to come out of it? If you think there's more good that could come out of it, what are your examples of it? Because um, I know they're using like AI for like more delicate surgeries and stuff like that, which then, yeah, that of course is a positive. Um, but yeah, overall, what do you guys think? What do you guys think of deep fakes? What do you think about all the technology? What social media apps do you use? Why do you like them? What do you use them for? Um, do you think it's healthy to use these apps? Video games, what do you video games do you play? Do you think those are, like, at what point does it jump over from being something healthy to being something unhealthy, right? Lots of questions for you guys. Let me know, put it in the comments. And, because, I'd really be curious what you guys think about this and talk to you guys later. The next time we see each other, probably I'll be in Puerto Rico and then Germany. Okay. Bye.